y'all welcome back to my channel ariella ella ella a here and i'm here to sweeten up your day okay guys i need i need help how to say this little jingle in the beginning because it's tripping me up welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you guys the infamous mark jacobs bag tote bag and i just want to see like just show you guys the rundown of the tote bag and you know if it's something that you should get for your needs for your everyday wear okay in the cut let me actually make it empty for you guys because i want to show you guys how it is i have this tote bag in the beige color um right here it may look a little green i don't know if it looks green to you guys but this is the color and it's in the large size i believe the biggest size that they have um so i'll have the specs on the screen right here okay the specs are gonna be right here so guys i got this bag because if most of you guys have been following me or don't and if you're new on this video hi girl hi boy you know subscribe while you're here and leave a like the reason i primarily got this bag is because i just needed something for work and just everyday wear that would fit my computer and wouldn't feel so heavy with my computer in it also i have a baby if you can follow me around and i feel like this is like a very sturdy bag that will hold things and not feel like heavy because of how sturdy it is so i was like yeah i need this whole bag because i love a big bag i don't really like small bags like that unless i'm like going to like a party or something you know so this is how the bag looks and i am 5'9 i don't know exactly how i how much i weigh but i think i'm somewhere between like 170 180 you know and this is how it drops on me and this is my hip and it drops right here so let me start by showing you guys the back it says this whole back in white and then in the gray color it says Marc Jacobs. Then as we turn around, we have this little, you know, patch on the back which I think is so cute. And this patch says the Marc Jacobs style tote bag, location NYC, year 1984. So that's pretty, I guess, cool. Then we have these two handles going up. And then on the inside of this tote bag, we have this lovely zipper now. Like, I didn't even know if it came with a zipper, to be honest. Because I didn't even watch a review on the bag before I got it. Now, the inside is pretty self-explanatory. It's just like a really big inside. Like, so it is. I'll show you guys better pictures. And then it has some pockets. The first pocket being right here. The second one with a black patch with Marc Jacobs written on it. The Marc Jacobs. And then on the sides going down the rim of the inside of the bag is the Marc Jacobs. Just in case someone's selling a replica and you want to differentiate the things to look out for. I don't even know if they even have replicas in this. But the Marc Jacobs is a, is like a saying in white that goes all throughout the back. This bag, I believe, is retailed from... Well, I'll have the specs on the screen for you guys. Bing! So, yeah. Anyways. Now, as far as the bag and home loving it, because you guys do see it right here. So, for my everyday, just simple, simple day wear, these are the things I put into my bag. Um my journal my calendar my book that i'm reading some honeypot wipes my wallet lip gloss vaseline lip gloss comb and lotion sometimes there are more things in here but this is like the most basic the bag will ever be okay and then you know if i'm at work i sometimes will bring my computer and if I'm with Arya, sometimes I'll bring her diapers or anything else, anything else that I'm going to need for her, right? So as far as user-friendly abilities, very easy to use, very easy to carry around. Not too heavy, but it does get a bit weighty if you put too much stuff in it, like packing and junking it up. Um, 
as far as me though and this color I do love this color but seeing how I've been wearing it and where I've been bringing it to I don't think it's the best bag to bring outdoors all the time this beige cream color because it's easily stained the material is not like leather or anything it's very I don't know what the leather the material is but the material is like clothish material so it can like you know stain it's not like nylon or like leather it's not like something you can like wipe down is what I'm basically trying to say so if you're really bad with your bag and throw it on the floor things like that I don't suggest even getting this color maybe a darker tone color would be more fitting for you and now seeing how it is I think I would even look into like the emerald green color I love that color as well so yeah as far as the color not a big fan because I take the train I take the subway and sometimes when you're going through the turnstiles guys your bag will like swipe and get dirty and busting through the doors so I would not suggest if you're a heavy on the go person to get this color in particular no ma'am I don't I don't suggest it I'm sorry so yeah that's pretty much on the color and um on the size this size is definitely great guys if you are somebody who is you know you have a lot of business to take care of this bag is just like an all an all over bag for everything I feel like if you're a student in school this would be a great bag I wish I had a bag like this in college um it would be great for that your computer and the best thing about it is the zipper feature like it zips everything shut so even if it's a mess everything's hidden nobody gotta know if it's a mess okay now as far as the fashion and the style of this bag and the occasion I would say this is very casual this is something you would wear with a blue jean white top some boots and you would like throw your bag on I do not think this is a bag guys you want to go bring to like a nice dinner elegant gathering a wedding definitely not no but you could definitely bring this bag to the beach play dates cool casual run casual lunch I think this is like perfect and I definitely think the smaller sizes go even better when you're just going on like um a little casual lunch brunch or something like that so i think that's pretty much it impressions of the bag and how much i do rate it for its usability and what it's for how it looks i'd say i give this bag a strong 8 out of 10 it has not disappointed me yet but i do wish i did get a different color if you do have a different color and something that I found out about the bag, like long after I had it, was that it has this little piece on the side right here, which I believe is like if you're trying to go to the airport or push your bag on the um suitcase, you can like touch it right here with that. You know the handle of your suitcase right here. Yeah, so that's pretty good, right? I'm definitely going to bring this when I go to Jamaica because this is going to be like a perfect airport bag i just hope it doesn't get dirty guys i just wish all in all that i did get a different color the green color that dark green color and yeah i would say as far as how, how much i'm enjoying the bag for what it is i'd say 8 out of 10 um and i feel like it's it's just very chic and it's not too much on the pricier side but it's still like a fashionable brand and it's still a statement piece so if you guys loved this review and how I was able to describe these things, please give me a thumbs up. And if you guys even have any comments about the Marc Jacobs bag, please leave it below. And if you're going to get it, if you already got it, what do you think about the one that you got? I know they have these little smaller versions that are coming out now, the newer versions, and they have these little different prints. Ugh, they look so cute. But I think I'm just going to hold on to this for now. So... With all that being said, I will see you guys in another video. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, guys. Mm.